Welcome to the Platinum Pinfall. One, two, three. This is the Platinum Pinfall for um, April Fool's Day. Look at that shirt. April 1st. Yes, somebody sent it for my kid, but I'm going to wear it first. Fuck that. I'm wearing this shit first. Um, this is coming out on April 2nd because, for those of you who know, I work a lot. And I've gotten a promotion of sorts at one of my main job. Well, I've got two jobs, but my main job. And um, so they have me starting in the mornings because I'm training for the new thing, which is great. But I've been really burned in the candle at both ends with, you know, getting full disclosure done and, and putting out one that I thought I could be proud of with extra video work. And now this whole thing has come up with Sean Ambrose. So I'm planning a big video uh, supplement for full disclosure on Monday. So I'm making arrangements to film a thing and I'm writing a little script out and it's nuts. Um, so I guess I was just exhausted and... I'm 50, but I'm one of these dudes who's just like, go, 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 and I can just do more, and I can pack more in, and I can work two jobs and all this stuff. And last night, I was like, all right, set my alarm. I'll sleep from 6.30 to 8. <laughs> so, like, these are the kind of naps that you take when you've got a ridiculous schedule, right? I'm going to sleep from 6.30 at 9 until 8, and I didn't set my alarm, and I went out at, like, 7.00. And I got up at three in the morning. So I got eight hours of sleep for the first time in ah, months since COVID, like forever. Um, and I feel great. So I got a bunch of stuff done. And now I'm going to knock out these two um, full disclosures. And I, uh, sorry, platinum pinfalls. And then uh, my plan is, and see, all these things catch my attention. Um, tonight, while watching night one of WrestleMania, because I'll actually get to see it in real time, I'm also going to be working on um, my first, uh, the wrestling of the week that you can't miss. Um, and I'm going to do a Platinum versus WrestleMania weekend, where I'm going to talk about the Hall of Fame, the NXT show, and uh, WrestleMania. Fucking shit. Um, but it's all worth it. And I'm going to get uh, that full school. And I got to record the thing with the kids before I start work tomorrow. Tomorrow I work from three till like midnight. Um, so I gotta get filming done in the morning. It's nuts, but it's all worth it. Let's just jump into this shit, right? Boop. That's Jade Cargill kissing Tay Conti. <laughs> um, Jade Cargill to me is the most interesting, uh, one of the most interesting people going around right now. I'm also gonna work on this article called uh, The Return of Cool. And I almost had Jade Cargill there. But because Hook is one of the three people, I didn't want to give a, a I wanted to spread it around a little bit. And I wanted it, it to be mostly about the indies um, and the scene outside of WWE and AEW. Though it's undeniable that Hook is one of the main reasons for the return of the cool. Uh, but Jade Cargill was almost going to be my female consideration. Uh, but I decided to go with somebody else um, who I thought could use the boost um, via the article, honestly. Jade Cargill doesn't need my fucking help. She's got Brian Danielson training her. Um, we, you got him singing her praises of like, dude, she gets who she is more than I ever did at that age. And um, she's going to be great. Um, and then she's there WrestleMania weekend, like parting it up with Wale on stage. And he's singing to her and all that shit. I almost had that as our clip. Um, but I decided to, because I'm going to have almost rapping um, in tomorrow's edition uh, I thought, like, eh, having another thing with a wrestler on stage is, like, kind of overdoing it. But in any case, um, Jade Cargill, the ring work continues to improve, but more than that, I think she's grasping what it is to be a star. And AEW is just really good at getting new people over um, and allowing them to kind of find themselves a little bit. And I think that's the really cool thing. Not to mention the Simon Sermon influence is definitely there. Um, and if you don't know about that, now you know. Second story. Bloop. Speaking of WrestleMania weekend, since that's what we're in, um, very Morales making that comeback. Uh, he had a really severe injury, a old break. Um, but that's fixed. He's back. And uh, I saw where he's going to be at IWE in um, 
May. So I'm very excited about that. I'm very excited to see him again. Really glad that he's back wrestling. Um, I'm really glad that he's a part of WrestleMania week, wrestling for different indie shows. He looks phenomenal. Uh, I called Vari Morales years ago uh, where I said people need to start using this guy and they started doing it and um, I'm really happy for him. I just think it's really great. It's one of those real keep it positive kind of things. Speaking of which, boop, um, this thing of Triple H talking to the boys. Um, really, really great sort of introducing Nick Khan to them. Not that they didn't know that Nick Khan was in charge, but really cementing this thing of like, this guy is really important and you guys need to know. And getting to make the great announcement to them that third party uh, ways of making money are now open for the boys again. Again, predictably, the WWE, for all their promises of like, we're going to stop you from doing it because we're going to do this thing and we're all going to benefit. They realize that they're in no position to fucking make that happen. So, yes, so the boys can do things like cameo and stuff like that again. And I think that's really positive. It's really good that, I, I mean, let's just be honest, the pressure from AEW is forcing WWE to fucking come to grips with some shit that's realistic. And it's better for all involved. Um, our video clip is one that just cracked me up of all these self-aggrandizing muscle dudes who are fucking bragging about how great they are uh, and the people who call them out for it. In any case, this has been the Platinum Pinfall. One, two, three. I'm built different. Oh, shit.